and, and here's the thing, Sheikh, like, I, I love your videos, I love your content so much, but this liberal way of you approaching things and you not speaking when you need to speak and, uh, like, let's be honest over here. Like, have we really, really back-checked you? Do I really know where you got your degrees from? Who says that you're, imagine people, how can people speak like this? I don't get it. I don't get it. That's my intro. Way of Life SQ, keeping it 100. I, I don't get it. I don't get how people feel like it's okay, okay and they're qualified to give you feedback. There's certain people, and, and this is not a shot at anyone, but even myself, you know, we're always looking to give feedback to people. We just want to give feedback to people. We just want people to know how we feel. Oh, by the way, sponsored by Sindeed, of course. There's, these are some of their jeans, bro. Some jeans. I thought I'd wear them today with some Kobe's. I don't know what numbers are these. Elite 9, I don't know, 12s. I don't know what these are. But I just thought I'd wear some jeans to show you that Cindy does jeans too. But I don't really wear jeans like that. But I thought, let me wear them today. You know? They had all these zippers. I didn't know how I felt about them. I was like, eh, this, uh, maybe. But they actually look pretty fly. And people have been saying they look good. So, I don't know. Whatever. Get them if you want. Link in the description. Don't get it. Oh, they gave me a, a, um, a discount code. SQ30. 30% off, baby. Let's go. You want 30% off your jeans? Get them. Anything you want, 30% off, mashallah. You can thank me later. My my beef with Mufti Meg fully explained. Has Q you clickbait in us again? No. Before I even explain that, for a second, how can people think like they have to get feedback all the time? Like they're looking for feedback. They're looking to see. I could give feedback about that. People get excited to give the feedback. It's like we're searching for people's flaws. And I spoke about this in the other videos, like over here. Imagine if Allah started searching for our flaws. We know the hadiths. We know. We know the narrations of Allah started to look for our flaws. It's over. It's a wrap for you. Come on. I'm not saying that we shouldn't be correcting people if they do something wrong, so on and so forth. But there's ways to do it. There's ways to go about it. But what's my beef with Mufti Menk? <sighs> wow. Wow, <sighs> Mufti Menk. Uh, this is me talking to you, Mufti Menk. I know you're going to watch the video, Mufti Menk. I know you are. It's probably not. <laughs> it's probably not. Let's be, let's be honest over here, right? I know. I know, Mufti Menk. Oh, uh, Mufti Menk. All right. If it wasn't bad enough that millions of subscribers, millions of followers on Facebook, Instagram, if it wasn't bad enough, okay? If it wasn't bad enough that you got that going on for you, hit your lives, thousands of people watching your live, jumping on cameos, putting, putting, you know, comments in YouTube videos and people going nuts. If that wasn't enough, my man Mufti Menk now is stealing my thumbnails. You heard it first. You heard it first from me. Say it ain't true. Ah, uh, I know you've been watching. Mufti Mink's been putting out some banging content lately. Very consistent. Mufti Mink is a YouTuber. Let's just be... Mufti Mink has become a YouTuber. That's basically what's happened right now. My boss is walking by. Watch. Let's see if he even notices me. Let's see if my boss even notices me. I'm going to stand here and say nothing. Let's see if my boss notices me. I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to say anything. I did get noticed. Passing by, not a problem. If you're in a position of leadership, if you are a boss for someone, make sure that the people that work with you, make them feel important. This is a mistake that a lot of bosses make. Anyways, let me get back to the video. Today's video is going to be a short one, guys. Tomorrow I have a khutbah. I don't know if I'm... I know, right? Ugh, who's going to have you ask you in a khutbah? Oh, and a mushroom. Oh, no knowledge. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm giving a khutbah tomorrow. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to make a daily video. I might. I, no, I might not. I might not be able to do that. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record my khutbah and I'm going to upload my khutbah tomorrow. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. Either I upload tomorrow or I upload Saturday. I don't know. I don't want to overstress myself, but I'm, I'm going to do whatever feels right in the moment, okay? All right. Mufti Mank, you've become a YouTuber. Let's, let's be serious over here, okay? Mufti Mank, you're a YouTuber now, mashallah, okay? Mufti Mank, you got the titles going on for you. Very sensationalized titles over here, Mufti Mank. Are you clickbaiting us, Mufti Mank? I'm not sure. Huh? Very sensationalized titles. I wonder who does that. 
Okay, okay. You know what? Anyone could do sensational titles. But when you have thumbnails, Mufti Mank, of your facial reactions to stuff, okay? Where there's facial reactions to things, okay? There's a facial reaction to something here, and there's a facial reaction to something over here, and it is your thumbnail. That's me. I do that, all right? And I want to give a shout out to whoever does your thumbnails, Mufti Mank. They're doing a great job. And I just pray that I get a piece of that reward for all the good that you're doing, mashallah, for the ummah, for the people, and spreading a positive message. It's not about agreeing with everything that I'm saying. And so many people, I'm going to shout out some of the comments over here. I'm going to just put them all over the screen. I've seen a lot of nice comments. It's not about agreeing with everything I have to say or something like that, but be patient with someone because if you don't agree with someone, you start filling in the gaps of the story yourself and you need to stop doing that. Ask them, ask clarifying questions. People uh, drop these uh, comments over here and they're apologizing to me. Why? Because they saw the first video here of the Omar Suleiman video and they're like, that's cute, you did this, 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 this. They said all these nasty things to me. What did I reply? I let it be. I responded to them, Jazakal Khair, thank you. Okay, all right, you're right, okay. And then the very next video after they saw the full video of the second one, brother, I'm sorry, I feel so bad about what I said and how I said it and all that. Why? No one likes being wrong. Why, why? Instead, instead of jumping to conclusions and making judgments on a person and what you think that they believe, why don't you just be patient and just wait, wait it out. Maybe that might not be the video for you. Wait for another one. Trust the process, trust that, yo, you know what? SQ's never really let me down before. I got you. And for those people who actually found out like, oh damn, SQ was clarifying his point and all these things about that video, but I can't admit to him that I was wrong. But you know what? He did say this one other time. So let me just cut it out, guys. All right, cut it out. Grow up. Everyone needs to grow up. Be patient. You don't like Mufti Mank? Unfollow him. Unsubscribe from me. You don't like me? Unfollow me. Unsubscribe from me. It's okay. We are in control of our own emotions. Why is it that you're letting my videos upset you? SQ, you clickbait me. I'm getting really sick and tired of this, SQ. Why? Why are you allowing me, my videos, my titles, my, my, my thumbnails to upset you? Just unfollow me. Unsubscribe from me. It's simple. The, the moment you allow someone else to determine how you feel, you've relinquished your control and given it to them. You are not a slave to your emotions, my friends and family out there watching right now. Mashallah, may Allah bless you, hope you're smiling. You're not a slave to your own emotions. You determine how you feel based upon the meaning that you give the situations. Could I have been feeling bad? Read the comment section of my last two videos. Ugh, ugh, toxic, ugh. This video is sponsored by Cindy. Look at their jeans, bro. I'm not, honestly, this, my, my, uh, my six month promotional contract with them is coming up to an end, I think next month. I might not get renewed. I might re not renew them. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm still going to wear their stuff. Why not? I like it. I genuinely, I like it. You know what I mean? Link in bio, SQ30, discount code. Um, don't allow other people to control how you feel. Just don't. Don't allow other people to dictate and determine how you feel. You feel according to the meaning that you've given something. I read all those nasty comments saying the hurtful things about me, but honestly, I didn't feel that bad as much as you might think, as much as I have in the past. Um, because I didn't make a negative meaning of it. I just made the meaning that, listen, these people don't know. And guess what? When they found the second video, they apologized. Well, the real ones, the sincere ones apologized. The other ones, they just continue to talk because that's what they do. How is it that you're reminding me about how wrong someone else is, but in the worst manners possible? I think that shows more about you and your personality and your character than it is about the person that you're actually slandering. These videos get deep, guys, but it's only for those who actually watch all the way till the end. I appreciate you and love you guys so, so much for watching these videos. Uh, super excited to share the khutbah with you guys tomorrow. Inshallah, I'll upload it tomorrow just because I like being consistent in what I do. My friends and family who are watching this right now. Love you all for the sake of Allah. If you haven't watched some of my other videos, go check them out right here. Or don't. Or don't. You know what I mean? You could just do something more productive with your life. Uh... Yeah, just do something more productive instead of watching them. Uh, but if you benefited from this, make a dua for me. I'd appreciate it. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until tomorrow, I'm out.